Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. <clears throat> so, we're now up to point number uh, 7. Okay, so we did point number 6, which is finding the elongation. It's now time to find N, which is the axial force in members 1 and 2. Okay, so once again, very simple, no inverse or anything like that. It's just simple matrix multiplication. If you weren't there for the derivation video, uh, the formula is just N equals B E. So for our case, we have N1 and N2. Those are our two members. The, that represents the axial loading. Equals B, which is just the um, stiffness. So we saw that in the previous video. We saw that B was this thing here. So that's B. So it is 666667. Six, 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 um, zero, zero, four hundred thousand, <clears throat> and the elongation, which we just calculated up there, is minus zero point zero zero one one two five minus zero point zero zero three one two five. So we're just going to multiply this out. So this is a two by two and a two by one, which means they're compatible, and we're going to be left with a two by one matrix. So if we were to work this out, we would find that N1 would equal minus 750, and we're working in kilonewtons, N2 would equal minus 1250 kilonewtons. So what does that mean? It means that, say take member 1 for example, member 1 over here is minus 750, so it is in compression of 750 kilonewtons, and member 2, N2, is an axial load of minus 1250. So this member here is feeling compression of 1250 kilonewtons. Okay, so there we've done it. We've found the axial loading. Now it's time to find the K.